Have you ever wondered, which tracks am I supposed to be doing time trials in to get better at this game? There's literally 96 tracks to choose from. Well, wonder no more. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top five tracks to time trial in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. For those of you who are in a rush, here are the top five tracks I've chosen. Stop the video and jot it down. Anyway, for those who want to know how I chose these five tracks, make sure you stick around. In order to make this list, I gathered the data for all the tracks that I ran, and I counted how many times each track was picked. Then, I made a list for which tracks were picked the most. As for the data for the tracks, I counted them from 50 lounge games that I've been playing these past few months. Most of the games were either Tier DE or Tier E. Since one lounge game is 12 tracks, the parameter is 600 tracks, so this should give us a fairly accurate list. Of course, the data was taken after November 9, 2023, so all 96 tracks are in the dataset. Now let's look at the top 10 tracks that were picked in these 600 races. You know, when I had to count over 600 races, I didn't think that I'd have any ties, much less three tracks with exactly the same count. Well, it is what it is. With 32 picks, Excite Bike Arena, Mushroom Gorge, and DK Summit take first place. This means that all three tracks were picked for 64% of all the games. If you remember the top five list that I gave you at the beginning of the video, you may have realized that I didn't include Excite Bike Arena in this list. Although Excite Bike Arena is one of the most technical tracks in this game, in order to get the fastest time, you have to know where to trick and where not to trick. Don't even get me started on how the layouts of the bumps change every single race. If you're at the highest level of this game, I'm sure it's a must to time trial Excite Bike Arena, but I decided that this track shouldn't be a priority for 99% of players, including me. No offense. So Excite Bike Arena is out. I decided to keep Mushroom Gorge and DK Summit because they are both super popular tracks and they both have some gimmicks that you should know about. First, Mushroom Gorge has the infamous gap jump at the end of the track. This takes a lot of practice to get the hang of and it's a must know unless you're in first at the end of lap three. The other reason I think this is such a great track to time trial is because with so many mushrooms, it gives you the chance to practice super bouncing. For those of you who aren't aware, super bouncing is a technique used in this game that allows you to give you a huge boost on bouncy objects like mushrooms, flowers and tents. Anyway, there's a bunch of great tutorials on how to do both these techniques by top players, so make sure to check those videos out. DK Summit is also one of those tracks which has an infamous shortcut. If you count the Wii version, the DK Summit gap jump has been around for literally a decade, and unlike Mushroom Gorge, it's actually a must. You have to do it, because if you don't, it's a huge time loss. Again, there are a lot of great videos explaining the shortcut online, so I'm putting DK Summit at number two. With 28 picks, we have Wario Stadium. We all love the music on this track, but as for time trials, it isn't a walk in the park. First off, the biggest challenge for new players is going to be the firing ramps. There is a technique where you purposefully don't trick off the ramps here because it's optimal that way. It involves hopping around and it looks funny, but trust me, it's faster. Obviously, I can't cover how to do it in this video because it'll take too long, but there are thousands of tutorials online, so check those out. You can also just download the world record for this track and watch how it works, but it's a bit difficult to understand by just watching, so I strongly recommend the first way. Either way, it's a great front-running track, so happy time trials. In fourth place, we have DK Mountain, another favorite from Mario Kart Wii. This track is one of the newest tracks added in the Wave 6 DLC. Although the reason this track is picked so frequently may be because it's new and players want to pick it more, I think that DK Mountain will be one of the most popular tracks in the future as well. I'm starting to see a pattern here, but apparently we love tracks that feature a gap jump. Make sure you practice that gap jump and you should be good. In the original top 10 list, the sixth most picked track was Mario Kart Stadium. 
and the seventh most picked track was Hyrule Circuit. I chose to not include Mario Kart Stadium because many people consider it a bagging track. By all means, it doesn't hurt to time trial it, but I thought there were more worthy tracks to include in the top five list. As for Hyrule Circuit, I didn't include it in the top five because it's a track that I personally choose. I wanted this list to be as unbiased as I could make it, so I considered Hyrule Circuit as an outlier. This leaves Piranha Plant Cove as the fifth track to time trial. What makes Piranha Plant Cove such a great track to time trial is the fact that a lot of the track takes part underwater. Underwater tracks can be tricky because there's less traction compared to other tracks. Since Piranha Plant Cove is a new and difficult track, if you practice enough, it should give you a huge advantage. So the final top five list is Mushroom Gorge at first, DK Summit at second, Wario Stadium at third, DK Mountain in fourth, and Piranha Plant Cove in fifth. Obviously, you're going to have to time trial a lot more tracks eventually, but these five tracks should give you a good place to start. Hopefully, I'll be updating this list every couple of months, and the list should become more accurate with the more data I collect. So make sure to tune in again. For those who stayed till the end, sorry for the long video and thanks for watching.